Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. I'm really excited to bring you this video. It's something that I've really looked forward to for a long time now. Uh, if you've seen a couple of my other videos, maybe my what's in the bag video, you would have seen that for all my underwater work, I've been using this kind of rig uh, for the last few years. So I shoot on a, an Olympus um, OMD EM5 Mark II in this uh, underwater housing with this dome port on this big metal rig uh, with these expand flexible arms, sorry, a couple of CNC YSD2 strobes uh, with fiber optic cables. Pretty standard underwater setup. Uh, this is one of the smaller, one of the more compact setups that you would get. Uh, traditionally, they would be you know, a much bigger camera resulting in a much bigger housing, a much bigger rig. The strobes, they're pretty standard. But my whole uh, premise, my whole take on underwater photography, photography in general, because I do travel as well, is to try and streamline, try and compress my gear as much as possible. So I'm always looking for lighter equipment, more compact equipment, that I can use that will still yield me some really good results, but without being big, cumbersome setups. I'm not a professional photographer. I don't sell much of my work, but I, I, I do like to get you know good results. So I don't want to sacrifice quality for gear, but I do think that there's got to be a way of working that can really bring down the amount of equipment I have to take with me. And I think I've found a solution. So my main camera nowadays for both photo and video work is my iPhone XS Max. That's what I'm shooting this video on at the moment. You may have seen in a couple of my other videos, a few bits and pieces that I've put with that to up the quality of the final result that I get. So I record my audio, with a video mic me microphone that just plugs straight into the bottom, straight into the lightning connection of my iPhone XS Max. I've also got a loom cube to give me some better lighting, which I'll admit is not in this video at the moment, and you'll see why in a second. So my challenge up until now has been, how do I get away from all of this equipment to something that will is a bit easier to travel with, to pack with, especially when I'm putting it with scuba gear and things like that. Because I'm very conscious, especially if I'm flying of the weight of all of my equipment before I've even packed any clothes and things like that. So this is what I've come up with and I'm super excited to show you. So we can get rid of this for a moment. Being pretty careful with it. My God, it's heavy. This is my new underwater setup. I'm so excited to work with this a little bit more. I've already tried out the housing. I've spoken about it in a couple of other videos, but we're gonna go over it today. So this is the WeFind Smart Housing, uh, the Pro Edition or the Second Edition or something like that. Um, but it's there's two variants. One has a depth sensor on the front and one does not. This is the one with the depth sensor. So this is universal. This will take any smartphone. And what I've coupled it with is a pair of loom cubes. So I bought one of these in a creative kit. The creative kit has a smartphone uh, clamp with it that you can attach the loom cube to the top of the clamp. And I thought that's great for a recording video because I can put the loom cube in the clamp over the phone and the microphone in the bottom of the phone and now I've got lighting and audio still shooting on my 10s Max, brilliant. So travel photography, street photography, videography when I'm out and about, I've got that down. What was I gonna do with underwater? This was my solution. So I still can shoot on my 10s Max, it goes into this smart housing, which connects to my phone via Bluetooth, okay? And then when I'm actually diving, I have a dive computer in the app that I use uh, the depth sensor allows me to know how deep I am and I can shoot all of my photos and videos straight onto my smartphone. Fantastic solution. 
These loom cubes are super bright. These are 1500 lumen. Now, I know for underwater video lights, that's not incredibly strong, but it is strong enough. Um, you can get, you know, really, really bright, big torches, kind of the same size as the CNC strobes that will give you 2000 plus lumen of light. As a video light, 1500 is enough for what I'm gonna be doing. This will allow me to do close up macro stuff, some video work. The great thing about this housing and the app Dive Plus is that Dive Plus will auto edit my photos as well. So it takes into account you know, how deep I am, what color I have lost from the, the color spectrum, and then it puts those back into the photos without the need for having big cumbersome strobes to fill in that light. To mount the loom cubes onto the housing, uh, the, the WeFind housing, what I've done is I bought a Joby Gorillapod the other day, the mobile rig. Uh, so that is the uh, Joby, Joby tripod, standard Joby tripod. It's around here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. So you get the Joby tripod um, in the box. These are brilliant. This is great for vlogging. This is great for travel, you know, because you can wrap this around anything. I'm probably not going to take any, any other tripod with me when I travel because this should do, should do the job quite nicely. So you get the tripod in the box. You get a mount for your phone that goes on the top here, which actually has two female quarter inch threads on it. And that's where these arms come in. You can put the arms into the mount for the phone. So you've got two additional mounting points. Plus you can put a clamp on top of the, uh, sorry, the clamp has a cold shoe mount. So you can put something in the top there as well. So you can essentially add three accessories uh, onto your mobile rig, which is super cool. And I was struggling to find a way of mounting these lights with the housing. And then it's, it dawned on me, you know, these arms, are just quarter inch threads. So I can just screw these onto here. So there's, there's the arm, just two quarter inch threads. They would normally go into the mount for the phone, but on the bottom of the WeFind housing, you have three tripod holes anyway. So I don't need to grab any kind of, you know, underwater rig. I was trying to find a way of putting this on the rig that I have for my Olympus and then I realized God, oh, that's still you know that still adds loads of weight to my you know my gear and I really want to get away from all of that stuff so now I can just pop my lights on there I can position these wherever I want so they're flexible so I can move them up to the side I can have them coming back in I can go below I can have light coming up these are going to be these are going to be good enough for what I want to do. I'm super excited to use this out. It's such a great solution. It's not gonna give you super high-end professional results. You know, none of my work's gonna make it into like National Geographic or any of that kind of stuff. But it is gonna give me shots that I'll be proud to share on social media, that I'll be happy to share with friends, family, that I'll wanna print out, put in frames, put in photo books, and it will still allow me to not take, to take hardly any gear with me when I travel. This is a fantastic solution. I'm so happy about it. Um, I look forward to you know working with it and bringing you some of the results. Thanks ever so much for, for watching guys. I s hope you get something out of this. I hope this sparks some interest in the WeFind housing in Loom Cubes. Um, if you need any links for where you can get any of this stuff, I'll link it in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye for now.